Yo, what is up, everybody? Next to Bro's Ultimate, back out again with another video. And as you can see, John Cena hat. Why? Because I need something to fucking wear wrestling related. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do this. It's getting kind of small for my head, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, so as you guys can see by the title of this video, um. I am going to be doing my WrestleMania predictions. First, I'm going to go on to night one and talk about the matches there. Um, and then I will go on to night two. Now, as of I now, as far as I know, I am recording this at 10.18. So, literally, and this video should be up like, after I upload. I mean, yeah, this video should be uploaded by the time I'm done recording, of course. But... It should be done maybe before NXT TakeOver Stand and Lover. It should be up right before NXT TakeOver Stand and Lover. So, anyways, without further ado, I will move on and give you my predictions to WrestleMania 38, both night ones and night two. Um, but if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to give a like, comment down below, let me know who you think is going to be Seth Rollins' mystery opponent tonight. Um... Or, and or who you think is going to win the title for title match tomorrow. And if uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin is going to have a match. And all this fun jazz. It's literally the most stupendous WrestleMania event. Stupendous. But, so, yeah, hopefully it lives up to the hype. Probably not. But maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So, and make sure you give uh, this channel a subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And the channel itself. So, yeah. Let's move on to my WrestleMania 38 predictions. So, night one. Um, once again, I've literally had this written out since pretty early this morning. Um, so I'm finally getting out to you guys now. Um, because my first, this is my second video today. My first one was my top 10 favorite WrestleMania matches. Go and check that out. If you want to learn, like, what matches from WrestleMania I enjoy the most. Um... So yeah, so night one, we're kicking things off with Drew McIntyre versus Happy Corbin, or apparently to my grandma, Happy Gilmore. Yeah, um, Drew McIntyre, okay, sorry, something was on my phone. Drew McIntyre, picking up the win, maybe kicking out of an end of days, that's what I have. I mean, Happy Corbin could win. But it's it's gonna be McIntyre. I don't see, I don't see why he's too big of a baby face right now to lose to Happy Corbin. Besides, Corbin Happy Corbin is undefeated. So yeah. Also, fucking uh, Redick Moss, not Redick Moss, Mad Cat Moss, same fucking person, just with different first names. Won the Andre Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I'm glad. The episode didn't come up yet on Hulu, and I just didn't sit there for that entire fucking time and watch it. And I just watched a few minutes on YouTube. Uh, they could have had it with Battle, but no, they they went with. Oh, it makes sense. Mad Cat Moss wins the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Corbin loses to McIntyre the next night. That makes sense. Anyway, um, but still though, happy. I mean, fucking Mad Cat Moss. Anyways, anyway. Um, second match by the night for night one. It's for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. You have Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs versus the Usos. The Usos are the champions, and they are going to remain the champions after this night. Um, yeah. So, we, we're already having a retaining champions. I don't I don't see why Nakamura and Boogs will be champions. Honestly, what, what good would that do them? Like, really, like, what good would that do them not much i mean while yes it's good to have different tag champions and see like them go up against the duty dogs or something just for a change we might get that for like a number one contenders matchup in the future to face the usos but nah man the bloodline's gonna stick to it always do they the ones we the ones all that fun jazz anyway so uh 
Matchup number three for the night, it is the New Day versus Sheamus and Rich Holland with possibly, the fuck is his name, Butch. Not from Bushwhackers, but Butch Pete Dunne. I don't, I don't know why that's not going to get confusing with the 80s at all. Um, The New Day are going to win. This is pretty much a rematch. Just replace Big E, poor Big E. Hope he gets well soon. Um, Just replace him with Xavier Woods. And this is that's pretty much your SmackDown match. And yeah, The, the New Day is going to win. Um, Next up, you have The Miz and Logan Paul versus The Mysterios. Holy hell, there's a lot of tag team matches on fucking WrestleMania this year. I don't understand why. Mysterios are going to win. I don't know. Logan Paul hits Miz with a skull question finale after the match or vice versa. Oh, this this could start up a rivalry between Miz and Logan Paul. You know, a rivalry no one ever wanted. And I don't know. It's probably what's going to happen. Or, you know, Miz and Logan Paul could take the W and then it could set up um, Bay Mysterio versus Dominic Mysterio match in the future. Maybe at SummerSlam. But... That's the only way I see Dominic and Ray losing is if they're going to have them face at SummerSlam. And I guess that would make sense. 20 years ago, Ray was fighting Eddie for Dominic, for custody of Dominic in that ladder match. And now, 20 years later, Ray is fighting Dominic, his son, in a one on one match. That makes sense. So Miz and Logan Paul might actually take it. You know what? How about this? I have both of them down to win. Mysterio's uh, to win it is like my prediction prediction. But I also have the Miz versus Logan Paul to win it. For Miz versus Mysterio. I mean, I'm sorry. For May Mysterio versus Dominic Mysterio uh, at SummerSlam. Because this will be slowly how it's going to build up. So, if the Mysterios loses, it's going to be Rey Mysterio versus Dominic Mysterio at SummerSlam. Trust me, it will happen. Next up, fifth match of the night, Seth Rollins versus a mystery opponent. And I think it's either going to be Cody Rhodes, Shane McMahon, unfortunately Goldberg, a possible Elias. We haven't seen Elias in a while. He could just be returning. Or a man that not really many people talk about in the form of John Cena. I'll go on with my reasonings. Cody, maybe, uh, because he it's like he deconfirmed, I think it was, or something. I don't know that he was going to be at Mania and he was going to face Rollins and all of that. But yet again, who hasn't? Look at Edge in 2020 Royal Rumble. Um, John Cena, not really a man that many people have talked about, but just imagine the pop John Cena would get for returning to have a matchup against Seth Rollins here at WrestleMania. Even though John Cena said that he doesn't have any plans for WrestleMania, I think that he secretly does because the whole Seth Rollins thing is kind of reminding me about uh, John Cena with The Undertaker in a way, but it's planned out differently. Instead of Seth Rollins calling out someone for a match, he's calling out like everyone for a match and he's trying to get his way into WrestleMania. So kind of like John Cena and The Undertaker, WrestleMania 34. So yeah... But, I mean, at the same time, Undertaker said never say never at the Hall of Fame. So, we could see Taker come in, choke slam, Tombstone, maybe, like, a quick matchup. One, two, three, Rollins could be added to the list. Who who knows? Maybe I'm just... Maybe that's just me overthinking it. But, that, that'd be cool. Like, Undertaker's one final send-off just to beat Rollins in a matchup at WrestleMania, and that that would actually work great for the Seth Rollins character as well. Like, really, like if you think about it, Undertaker comes out at Mania, he choke, the matchup begins, Big Boots Rollins choke slam, Tombstone Power Driver, one two three, the matchup's over. The next night on Raw, Seth Rollins is like, I got screwed out of my WrestleMania match, blah blah blah, yada yada yada, this and that. Cody Rhodes' music hits. Bada bing, bada boom, you have your next pay-per-view match in the form of Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins. That that would actually fit very well with the Seth Rollins character as well and how they would set up Cody. So I'm just going to take her to that list. And whoever, even if it is Cody Rhodes, even if it is John Cena or Elias or Shane or Goldberg, it's, it's going to be one of them to beat Rollins. So 
I don't know. The next matchup of the night is going to be the Raw Women's Championship, and it's going to be between the challenger, Bianca Belair, versus the champion, Becky Lynch. And unfortunately, I have to pick Bianca Belair. Now, I love watching Bianca Belair. Don't get me wrong. I, I really do. Like, I really love watching Bianca Belair. I think she's an incredible talent. She is amazing in the ring. But she's starting to hit levels of Charlotte Flair push. Like, yes, like, everyone's like, yeah, like, Bianca Belair is great. They're doing the right thing by pushing her. Her push already came and it went. Like, that 26-second squash match, she already got, besides, she already got a rematch against Becky Lynch. Um, so, yeah, they, they, they literally, it, like, he had a matchup against Becky, the rematch against Becky Lynch for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Like, this matchup is literally just to redo that. Like, Becky Lynch literally has two wins over Bianca Belair. And I get it. Like, this is what they were trying to set up for. But why the fuck didn't they make, uh, Bianca Belair versus... Uh, Becky Lynch at, like, fast lane last month. Like, while, well, yes, it was good to have a whole month build up. That was great for this year's WrestleMania. They could have had Lynch versus Belair at fast lane. And if they really wanted... I don't know. It's, I'm picking Bianca Belair because I, I don't want to get it wrong. I want to get a match right. It's just... If I was booking it, I, I would want Becky to win. And if Becky wins, I will honestly be happy... So rather, if I get it wrong, like, I can get it wrong and I can get it right, no matter who fucking wins it and no matter who loses it. I just think the push already came and gone for Bianca Belair. Or, y yeah. Anyways, matchup number seven is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. It is the challenge of Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair. Give Ronda the fucking belt. Like, just give her the belt. Like, Charlotte doesn't need another fucking win onto her resume. Jesus Christ. Like, I've never been a Charlotte Flair fan. Don't get me wrong. Once again, great athlete in the ring. I've never been a fan of hers. Never, ever. I I hate Charlotte. And one of the biggest reasons why is for multiple reasons. One of them is she's too, she, she's too much like Ric Flair. And she wins too much. And she's getting pushed to the moon. Pun towards Cam Grimes. How are you doing? But she got pushed way too many fucking times. I I just can't fucking stand her. Like I cannot wait for her to retire. Like it's, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna make my own self fucking party. Just yay! Like I just I can't wait. Who knows when she's gonna retire? But holy hell, the list of people she's beaten and that she shouldn't have beaten at those events. Just oh my god. I'm choosing. I'm I'm choosing Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey needs to be a SmackDown Women's Champion. And she needs to hold the belt for however fucking long. Just don't drop it to Charlotte, please. God no. And then the final possible main event of the night. A lot of people are adding this because I think a lot of people know that's gonna happen. Um, for possibly the main event for night one, even if it's a few minutes, it's it's Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Kevin Owens. Stone Cold's gonna be on the KO show. He's gonna win. He's got. He's. They've talked about so many times, like blah blah, yada yada yada, some some whoop ass whoop ass, whatever. Austin comes in, stunners Owens. One two three, drinking a beer. I'll be fine. But also, see a cool thing is that whenever he comes out, he's not gonna come out and like the th like the four wheel or whatnot that he'll come out in. Like he'll literally come out in his, like, old gear and say, Owens, I'm not here to talk. I'm here to fight. And then that's when we're gonna get the match. And then Owens might come in for a clothesline. Boom. Kick. Stunner. One, two, three. The matchup is over. It's... Sensible logic, and then you're gonna end off WrestleMania 38 with Stone Cold Steve Austin raising his fist up high as the winner, beating Kevin Owens in literally a matter of seconds. So, yeah, and he's, he's gonna do it in Texas as well. So, that's how we're gonna end off night one. Let's see, now going, yeah.
Okay, that was night one. This is night two. So heading into night two, we have... Um, I'm just going to go from the bottom and walk my way up because at the top I have the main event and I don't want to do it yet. So uh, we have Lash uh, Bobby Lashley versus Omos. I, I have Bobby Lashley to win while, yes, Omos is getting a big push. I mean... Okay, the more I think about it, this is kind of a Kane versus Great Khali WrestleMania 23 situation. Kane beat, I mean, I'm sorry, Great Khali beat Kane, so there's a possibility of Omos beating Bobby Lashley, but I just don't see it happening quite yet, but Bobby Lashley just came back. WWE just put themselves into a corner. Literally, the only thing they could do is a double count on DQ. I don't know, something's gonna happen. Bobby Lashley for no 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 I take that back I'm I'm actually gonna scratch Lash don't want to scratch Lashley out and change him with Omos I don't know I I kind of want to but I kind of don't like honestly like the more I think about it and the more how they would I'm just gonna put Omos I'm, I'll scratch that out I'll put Omos down Omos is gonna beat Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania Night Two there I said it. We're done and it's over with. Now, moving on to the next match of night two. For the Raw Tag Team Championships, we have, in a triple threat match, we have Street Profits versus the Alpha Academy versus RK Bro. RK Bro are the champions walking into this. And I have the Street Profits walking out as your new Raw Tag Team Champions. Once again, this could set up, this could set up a feud between, um, Randy and Riddle, maybe. I don't know. Not yet. Maybe they, they they could do something where they don't win a tag team championship belts. Or they're going to win the tag team championship belts one last time. Just one. And, um, yeah, they just won it one last time. Right before WrestleMania 40. I'm sorry, not WrestleMania 40. <laughs> Yep, they were going to wait until WrestleMania 40 to do this. I mean, they could, depending on how popular they get. But, no, WrestleMania 39, they are going to drop it maybe right before then. Maybe Orton or Riddle will get pissed. Attack the other one. And then WrestleMania 39, Randy Orton versus Matt Riddle. Now, granted, they could walk out as champions as well, but... I just don't see it. I see Street Profits becoming new Raw Tag Team Champions. Besides, they need it. They they definitely need it. Because it, how long ago was it since we've seen them as champions? Not too long ago. I mean, if but it, it feels like pretty long ago. It feels pretty long ago since they did that. I mean, yeah, since they've been champions. So, Street Profits to win. They, they need the belt. And it's, it's nice. They, they just need it. I feel like they... Do something better with them. Like we could see Street Profits. I mean who knows. They they could hold the belt until Survivor Series. And the Usos could. And then we see Street Profits versus Usos at Survivor Series. Or something. Or they could. Or who knows. The Usos could get drafted away from Roman. On this Raw. Or something. Or something. That, I mean now granted he could be like. Yeah just make sure I don't do this. But it might happen that we could see Usos versus Street Profits. But who knows. But I have Street Profits walking out as your new Raw Tag Team Champions of the Night. Next up, in an Anything Goes match, we have Sami Zayn versus Johnny Knoxville. I will say this shit right now. If Johnny Knoxville does not fucking will um, we man, like just chuck him at Sami Zayn, I'm gonna have problems. Like I was just talking to this about my mo with this about with my mom, and she's like, I would be disappointed if they don't do that. I'm like, I would be too. I just want Johnny Knoxville just to throw him, cause you know, we man small enough. He could just think, oh object, throw. Oh, hey, look at that. It's a flying Wii Man. Like, you know, like, I if they if he doesn't do that, or if Sammy doesn't throw Wii Man at Knoxville or something, be like, there, he's a stupid jackass buddy, or something along the lines, I'm going to be disappointed. I think a lot of people would. As long as we, I, I don't give a shit. I mean, I do care who wins, but if I just want Wii Man to get fucking thrown across the 
arena. Like, if this was Johnny Knoxville versus Omos, Omos would pick him up and toss Wee Man into the crowd, into the backstage area. I don't know. Just one hand it. You chuck him like a football. Wee Man's small enough. I love you, Wee Man. I, I love Wee Man. He is awesome. He's super funny. He He's great to watch in Jackass. One of my favorites. But he got body slammed by Brock Lesnar through a table before the Rumble back in January, which felt like yesterday. But, dude, we, we just need a flying Wii Man. Just give us a flying Wii Man. God damn it. Other than that, I have Johnny Knoxville to win. I know. I know. Why do I have Johnny Knoxville to win? Once again, plays off the whole Sami Zayn character. But once again, Sami Zayn could beat Johnny Knoxville. This will play off his character as well. Be like, yeah, like I beat Johnny Knoxville and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And we wouldn't hear from it, but we wouldn't hear the last of it if he lost as well. Although, now since I'm thinking about it. No, I'm just going to have Johnny Knoxville. I'm going to have Johnny Knoxville beating Sami Zayn here at WrestleMania. Sami Zayn is like... John Knoxville thinks that the advantage goes to him, but it really goes to me. But the advantage will later on then, uh, but then later on, you know, Karma being a bitch, uh, he's put, same as he's probably jinxing himself. Uh, weapons won't turn out to his favor. Johnny Knoxville wins. Maybe some help from Jackass buddies like fucking Steve-O, maybe. I don't know. And then this whole thing, so, Yeah. But I have Johnny Knoxville to win nonetheless. Uh, next up, Pat McAfee versus Austin Theory. Just it's, it's kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. I can't. I'm. I still need to see the clip of um, of what happened last night at SmackDown. But long story short, Pat McAfee to win. I think that he needs a win. When was the last time he wrestled? I I don't know. It's gonna be a fun match to watch. That's all I'm pretty much gonna say about it. So Austin Theory versus Pat McAfee. I have Pat McAfee to win. I can't wait to see what they do with that and where it leads. Oh, Jesus Christ, here comes a lot of eating. Next up, a fatal four-way match for the Women's Tag Team Championships. Between the champions, Lena Vega and Carmella, versus Naomi and Sasha Banks, versus Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan, versus, versus Natalia and Shayna Baszler. And I have either Ripley and Morgan to win, or Banks and Naomi to win. Well, you know, they could go with the Chalk and Natalia and Shayna Baszler to win. That'd be surprising, but who knows? Like, they, they could literally do that. They could go, oh, hey, um, what's one of the most shocking things that we could do in this match? Oh, have Natalia and Shayna Baszler walk out. Like, they, they could do that, but they've just been pushing Banks and Naomi so much. It's either going to be Naomi and Sasha Banks after all the wins they've been getting, or... Ripley and Liv Morgan. Um, next up, probably one of my favorite matches, both the nights. In fact, the matchup that I'm well worth looking forward to the most, AJ for the first time ever, Edge versus AJ Styles. Two men that I've wanted to see face each other ever since Edge returned. Like, forget Rollins and Edge. That was a big one that I wanted to watch. But I wanted Edge versus AJ Styles the most. And we're finally getting it. These two men are going to perform possibly match of the night. Or damn near to it, depending on Lesnar and Reigns. But I have AJ Styles to win. And AJ Styles needs this win. You know, then Edge is going to be going into maybe a little bit more of a heel run, but make it like he's gonna slowly think like I don't know AJ Styles to win it. They have three matches. Edge wins the next one, and then whenever that'll fucking be in that Summer Slam, it will be Edge versus AJ Styles, and then whoever wins that will just close up the feud, and then that will just continue on with that. Um. So right now I have AJ Styles to beat Edge, and what will be. Possibly the best match out of both nights of WrestleMania. Um, and finally, I don't know why I'm looking at my notes. We, I only have one match to go. Finally, the main event, title versus title, WWE Championship versus Universal Championship. Winner takes all to unify the WWE Champion... For, to unify the WWE Championship and the Universal Championship. You have the WWE Champion... Brock Lesnar versus the WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns. How many fucking times have I said champion in that? Holy hell. Roman Reigns will win it. 
Maybe we see a Rock come back, and then that will set up Rock vs. Reigns next year in Hollywood. Maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe, um, I don't know, but Reigns, Reigns to win it. Brock takes a short break for a bit. Maybe come back and go after... <clears throat> I don't know. WWE Championship, whoever the fuck is... Oh, fuck, that's Reigns. Damn. And Lesnar will come back at some point once Reigns loses the belt. I mean, I had Roman Reigns to lose up against Lesnar once Lesnar won the Rumble. But now Lesnar's WWE Champion. They're unifying the belts. And Roman has to win it for the bloodline. So. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So those are my. WrestleMania. Predictions. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what matchup you're excited for. Down in the comment section below. Or who you think is. What you think is going to happen in it. Make sure you uh, leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more WWE predictions and whatnot, and then I'll make another video. I I have no idea when. Peace.